if you want to hear this story, I'm willing to tell you. Uh, oh, you definitely. Want to hear yes. Okay, so <laughs> they settled problems with axes and hatchets. How about a big old cake and some tits? <laughs> I was run out of there for being a public Satanist, but. Thank you, you know, Happy. And yeah. thank you, Shane. What makes me a devil versus LeVay being a devil? Who is the devil? Is it LeVay or was it me? Uh, <laughs> who the fuck says they're an Aryan king? And so it's it's sort of funny because those pictures show that he was a one-eyed bastard back then too. I don't think the SS would have taken him in. <laughs> And I'm going to smash your head into that curb until it's until it's soup. And I and, and and that's not something I like to recall. And it's not something I like to admit. But that was what was happening in there when I was yelling at that guy. I was going to kill him. Um, the uh, the level of rage you have in this was scary. I almost dropped my phone watching it. It no, it, it was quite it comes across, yeah. Yes. Because, oh, this is also a Shane I didn't know. I, listeners, I've only known Shane for a few months, even though I feel like I've known him for years. And yeah. I feel, and that was a different person. That, that Shane, I felt like, I don't know if I would like this Shane. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm your host, Nanarol, and I'm here with the devil. Shane Bugby is the devil. <laughs> I happen to be acquainted with kale salads and stuff. Rub that with some nice avocado and lemon. Wow, there's there's the occult for you. That's the unspoken. If you want some more incels, if you want any more advice on how to have game, you can contact us at. <laughs> this is interesting because it sort of mirrors how you challenged Levey with how you're going to do things your way and it, it worked in your favor it's very much like that do you think that that's a very like a almost like a primal thing with with males with men that if you stand up to it, it it's more likely the other one's going to back down or see your integrity I know Satan's real, I've seen him. He actually saw Satan with his own two eyes. This is also the Baptist pastor who offered me a job. He's like, you know, Shane, if you flip, you'll have a two-car garage, a nice pool. I can show you, and he showed me some. This guy was a Satanist, but he didn't have a name like yours. I mean, we can offer you a lot if you just turn. And I was like, wow. That's almost like a deal yeah, with the like, devil kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Who's the devil there? Jesus. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, right. We, we feel it in our gut and we see it in their eyes. And I feel like, I, I want to think that even our listeners are getting educated listening to this. Listening to this podcast, you're getting a dose of satanic history. It's, a, it's still a very young religion and I think that a lot of people do not fully understand it or they only know the parts that they want to know because so much of it has been erased. And then you have this fake sense of power and it doesn't translate into reality. Let's get in. <laughs> so let's get into this. So I'm sure at this point, all the listeners are possibly wondering, what do you have to do with Lucian Greaves, AKA Doug Mesner, AKA Doug, Oh. of the satanic temple that's where philosophy dies when it becomes a religion that has this bubble philosophies if they're you know they're meant to be tested and beaten on and added to but not worshiped. as a 500 year old bitch i i definitely know how that feels to hang out with young people like to <laughs> shame <laughs> you keep me young i take oh. your laughter and i slather it all over my face and that's how Oh, I love this. <laughs> That's how I keep my face from cracking every day. So, tell us a story, Shane. We're ready. Yeah! <laughs> I love to tell children's stories about Satan. <laughs> all right, so. I'm in all black, just like you, and just like Jane, and just like Fred. And, you know. <laughs> and, you know, the color black has always been a magician's color. It's been always a color that's enigmatic. It's anything you can make of it. So it's powerful that wearing black would be satanic. 
but it doesn't have to necessarily be cut from the same cloth. It's sort of funny though, if you notice all the waiters at fine restaurants wear all black, um, servants wear all black. So I'm not really keen on wearing all black as a clown suit to serve some sort of image. You know, I'm not a servant. And as magicians, as artists, just as you're saying, you have to continue to grow and get yourself away from what was, what lacked power. Continue gaining your power. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I'm, I, I see myself as a journalist, and so did the state's attorney of Illinois that put John Wayne Gacy to death. When I asked him, what do you see me as, dude? I said, well, how do you see me? He goes, oh, you're a journalist. You just don't get paid like a journalist. Whatever. I'm an artist. I don't know if the fuck maturing, okay? Whatever. <laughs> Perhaps the uh, inability to read certain things keeps you, um, keeps you where your mindset or, like, your drive always looks at a different perspective, which ultimately keeps you immune to a lot of things. I uh, actually feel, I think the witches that were burned in Salem were probably like an Asperger's clip. They say Asperger's people are, are very much, they get together and they communicate and, and they can understand each other, but if outsiders of that community, our Asperger's community will listen, they'll be like, man, those people are freaks. Listen to them talk. And we're high thinking intellectuals. I think we see the real deal. We don't see hypocrisy. We have an integrity. So tell us a story, Shane. We're ready. Woo! <laughs> I love to tell children stories about Satan. <laughs> All right. And we sat at a counter and drank instant coffee and drank double and, and drank instant coffee and ate double stuffed Oreo cookies. And it was the coolest fucking thing. And then his little son Xerxes runs in the room, pops open the refrigerator, and it's the only time Leve broke character. He, his, his, his face is always like in his character thing, and he's like, no, no. And he runs and he, he goes to slam the refrigerator door because we look in there and of course we're making judgments and there's a passion. <laughs> Don't look at the man behind the curtain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was sort of funny. He didn't want to put humanity on him on himself. No, <laughs> no, no, no! Oh, I can't God. believe it's not butter. Yeah. Only Zool. I was thinking about what are the empirical truths of being a Satanist, and I thought one of them might be the ability to pick yourself up and brush yourself off. <laughs> less and less, and now you have a Jex Blackmore, which is the lesser of all of it. It's just like a horrible illusion she's doing. <laughs> it, <laughs> it's know. interesting you say something <laughs> becomes lesser and lesser as one of their recommended reading is Paradise Lost. And in Paradise Lost, the image of Satan, the, the appearance of Satan as this magnificent figure slowly dwindles down to a serpent at the end. Pull you in. We're giving you exactly what you were looking for, which is rebellion, which is what Marilyn Manson fed you 20 years ago, your parents. What what Marilyn Manson fed your parents and what your parents fed you. So I was uh, asked to be Lu Lucy and Greaves originally and um, did not, you know, did not take that on. They have a horrible actor that played the part and then Doug had to step in because the actor could, could not answer the questions. <laughs> and I just love that old man and I go, oh, when I left I go, I want to live until I'm in my 80s, so I, I want to say it to people when I'm old and I look decrepit. Like, don't you dare say any of these kids say I look decrepit right now, you're going to have a problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've had young kids recently in the last six months open doors for me, sir, can I get the door for you? I'm like, I'll fucking kick you in the shins, you fucking asshole. <laughs> I take it as I'm like, thank you very much, young man. It's so weird to be here, though, because my mind is 25. But I I want to live to be that old man, 80 year old. I got all the time in the world. Cause that's the concept of time at 80 something years old. And to say I got all the time in the world. Isn't that the truth today? I've got all the time in the world. I'd be dead tomorrow. But right now I've got all the time in the world.